dinosaurs are not extinct. They just turned into birds and are just waiting for an excuse to show their coolness. To approach the cassowary, you need a shield, like a Roman legionary. But even then, the bird attacks with the fury of a berserker and jumps on the shield with all its weight. And if you annoy an ostrich, it can even get sadder. For this bird, the cheetah is just an annoying punk who needs to be taught a lesson. Contrary to popular belief, ostriches do not stick their heads in the sand during danger. They hit with a turn no worse than MMA champions. This bird seems clumsy due to the fact that its dense body is covered with voluminous feathers, but its curved thin neck and fleshy legs are not. So these predators allowed themselves to be fooled by their appearance. In fact, the ostrich is a very clever creature. This feathered animal can run faster than 43 miles per hour, 70 kilometers per hour, which is comparable to the results of the best racehorses in the world. Legs that can give such a run up are capable of breaking all the ribs of a predator with one blow. So if some inexperienced predator climbs into an attack against an ostrich, he will realize that he has messed with the wrong one and will forever remember this painful lesson. And herbivores should not be imposed. Otherwise, it will be like this young giraffe which the ostrich drove to hysterics. If he survives, of course. Fortunately, these birds are quite patient and are able to effectively warn intrusive people that getting to know each other is probably not worth it. With one warning blow, the ostrich breaks the whole fence. Can you imagine what would have happened if the bird had not been so patient? But these people were not so smart to move enough away. You shouldn't mess with an ostrich. So remember this lesson. Do not approach wild birds and do not try to pet them. If they are in a bad mood, there will be no warnings. Eagles don't like impudence very much. This huge bird was in a cage, so another brazen feathered decided that nothing was threatening him and he could steal someone else's food with impunity. But the thief didn't know who he was messing with. The eagle grabbed the impudent man with lightning speed just at the moment when he was trying to get food out of the cage. This cheeky bird will remember this lesson for a long time. But it's better not to mess with birds of prey, so it's with roosters and chickens. Didn't expect it, did you? So the eagles and hawks are not waiting for a serious rebuff. In vain, the roosters have all the trumps on the ground. Powerful legs, maneuverability, experience. If the tactics of her quick raid did not work, the eagle can only fight back and spread its wings to appear larger. And the rooster will push again and again to show with his claws and beak. It's better not to touch his chickens. Even a medium-sized chicken can peck a falcon to protect its offspring. Roosters have several advantages. Firstly, it is a very combative character. They really like to fight. Secondly, it is the presence of spurs next to the claws. The eagle's claws are adapted to grab the victim on the fly. They can fight on the ground, but then it becomes too difficult to keep their balance. You have to grab and hold the prey to finish it off with your beak. But the claws of roosters are shorter, but there are sharp spurs, so these birds can attack and retreat, be maneuverable and agile while maintaining the ability to inflict serious damage. And finally, there may be several roosters and chickens. And if they attack a predator together, they will simply peck. Pelicans eat fish that they catch with their beak with a large leather pocket. You know it, we know it, even pigeons know this. And that lets them down. After all, these pigeons do not know who they have contacted, the bird-eating pelican. He pretends to be harmless and then attacks the pigeon and easily swallows it. And what, if a trout fits in the beak, then there's a place for a pigeon there. However, sometimes they fail to take advantage of the surprise effect. 
These capybaras do not know what a formidable and bloodthirsty predator is next to them, but they don't need to. The pelican can't swallow them anyway, although he tries so hard. And the capybara clearly doesn't care. Its equanimity is a threat that can only be envied. If you ever walk through the jungles of the northeast of Australia, then... Just why are you doing that? Run away! After all, even if you do not meet with poisonous spiders or dangerous reptiles, there is a risk that you will caught by him, the cassowary. This bird seems cute, but messing with it is a really big mistake. The cassowary looks exotic even against the backdrop of the other huge flightless birds. Unlike the dense ostrich, the cassowary is quite slender, has a bright head color, but its body is covered with black long feathers that more closely resemble the hair of a Rastafarian. At the same time, cassowaries are quite large. Adults can reach a height of 6 feet, 1 and 8 meters, with a weight of 130 pounds, up to 60 kilograms, which is a very impressive mass for a bird, because even huge golden eagles are almost 10 times lighter. At the same time, because of the thin silhouette stretched upwards, the cassowary seems to be a rather slender bird, especially since most individuals are still smaller than the specified sizes. But do not be deceived. This is not an intellectual, but a real bouncer from the feathered world. The most striking thing is the cassowary helmet, the horn seal on the bird's head. Have you seen the attack of an American football player who was trying to bring victory to his team in a matter of seconds before the end of the match? So, cassowaries use their helmet in about the same way. They powerfully ram everything they see in the forest and run straight ahead. This is their way of making their way through dense thickets. Other birds bypass obstacles, cassowaries ram them. But if you think that the cassowary reacts to danger in the same way, then you are mistaken. Because this creature is a real master of martial arts among birds. He instantly assesses the enemy and goes on the attack. In battle, the cassowary uses not only his battering ram helmet and sharp beak, but also his legs. It is the extremities that are the main weapon of this bird. With a kick, she can break the back of a shepherd dog, and sharp claws are used as knives. The one who survived a fight with an angry cassowary is not even afraid of the claws of a leopard. After all, the feathered one deliberately marks his blades exactly in the face and eyes of the enemy. This bird does not fly, but its powerful legs give it the ability to jump like some ninja from Japanese anime. You see the cassowary, and then he turns into a shadow, soars up, and kicks with the force of the sledgehammer, tearing the target with his claws in a couple of lunges. And do you know what exactly can provoke a cassowary to fight? Yes, in general, nothing. He doesn't need a reason to rush into battle. One sideways glance in the direction of this bird, and you cannot make vacation plans. Even if you stay whole, you'll have to spend the money on a plastic surgeon. Therefore, in zoos and nature reserves, cassowaries are approached with growth shields. Only they can withstand the pressure of this monster. It is said that ancient animals survived in Australia due to the isolated position of the continent. Well, after getting acquainted with the feathered Terminator, you will understand that the remoteness of Australia, on the contrary, helped everyone else to survive, because this bird could not beat a wolf, a cougar, and even a small leopard. No, we did not set up experiments, we are just soberly analyzing the situation. And now don't tease the cassowary, give him a like. Then there is hope that he will feel sorry for you if you decide to come to Australia for some apparent reason. Birds of prey are formidable fighters not only in the sky. A fox is a predator that is heavier than an eagle and has stronger jaws. But the eagle doesn't even think of taking off. When he noticed the fox's unhealthy interest in this person, he tilted his head and went to sort it out. Of course, the redhead could only retreat. Even with one paw, the eagle could overcome him thanks to his huge claws. Funny scene? It's not very funny to the fox. It's good that he remained intact. This cat did not immediately understand the size of the one that he wanted to attack. 
the cat was sneaking up to the bald eagle who was just having lunch with his favorite fish. Just look how the cat changed his mind about attacking when he realized what a huge bird was in front of him. One glance at the eagle was enough to cool the hunting ardor of the predator. How would you voice their dialogue? Write some options in the comments. However, sometimes conceit fails eagles. This predatory giant thought that he would be feared and shunned. No matter how, he just doesn't know who crows are. This brazen bird flew up to the eagle from above and sat on it. This is not an attack, it's just that the crow wanted a ride. Well, it's not difficult for the eagle. The bird of prey was in shock, but the crow, having rolled on it, calmly flew away on its own business. The cries of seagulls over the seashore, the smell of salt water, the feeling of wind on your face, romantic? Yes, but only until you decide to get to know the seagulls a little better. Like with this little thief who stole a GoPro camera. If it seems to you that in her gaze you see the coolness of a gangster, well, don't think. The seagulls are really in constant combat readiness mode. It turns out that they are real scumbags, which is, it's better not to mess with them. And this is at a relatively modest size. It sounds like the laughter of a some movie villain, don't you agree? These pigeons mistook the seagull for another beggar bird. Very wrong. In fact, the seagull came to have a snack just with them. With its sharp beak, this creature inflicted such crushing blows that the pigeons had no chance. Agree. Now you will look at the seagull with completely different eyes. The seagull can only use brute force, but also tactics. Here she caught a pigeon and drowned it so as not to fight for a long time. Cold calculation in the case. The same thing is the case with the sparrow hunting. The seagull is in no hurry and does not waste energy. She flew up to the bird, grabbed the first sparrow she saw, and flew away. It's like going to the bakery for bread. And even a rat is waiting for the same fate, although usually this animal can fight back even a small dog. Moreover, a seagull can attack a larger animal. For a seagull, a domestic cat in size is the same as a mountain lion for a person. But this does not prevent the bird from calmly approaching the cat during his lunch and coolly taking away his food. The cat is shocked by such impudence and does not know how to react. Perhaps this saved him. He never got hit with the powerful beak of the seagull. Why did the seagull attack the dog? It's a mystery. From the point of view of instinct, this makes no sense. The bird will not be able to eat the dog. There is nothing to take away from him. It seemed that the four-legged simply did not like this feathered one, who believes that he owns the entire surrounding area. Therefore, the seagull attacks the dog again and again, like some fighter coming into turns, hits, and tries to drive away the stunned dog, which, despite the absence of injuries, even becomes a little sorry. The impudence of the seagull reaches some incredible levels. People on the pier noticed the tuna and decided to lure it closer to the surface with food. Is someone throwing food around? Of course the seagull could not ignore this and flew as low as possible over the water in order to catch the food. As a result, the tuna accidentally was gripped. This fish turned out to be so big that it could swallow a seagull whole. But Tuna really didn't know who he was messing with. It is unclear whether he was just scared or the seagull managed to inflict some damage to the fish with its beak, but the tuna released the seagull from its mouth. Surprisingly, the bird survived. We thought that such stories were possible only in fantastic blockbusters, to get into the mouth of an underwater giant, but to fight and get out of there alive. The seagull brings this plot to life. Although we used to think that seagulls live near the sea coasts, these birds also fly quite far from the water. Many were struck by the brutality of the plot in hunting such a seagull. She noticed the rabbit's lair. 
a cute fluffy creature, but not for the seagull. For her, a rabbit is a hearty lunch. A seagull catches him near the entrance to the den and puts its beak into action. It's not as sharp as the hawk's, but it's very durable. The seagull is able to lift the rabbit and cause irreversible damage to the spine with sharp, powerful movements from side to side. After that, the seagull eats the victim whole. But a rabbit weighs only three times less than a bird. It's as if a person could eat a couple of huge steaks, several burgers with potatoes, several portions of meat, salads, snacks in one sitting, and after that, he still wanted supplements. Monstrous appetite, wouldn't you agree? Moreover, hunting for a rabbit is the norm for this bird. It must be admitted that the seagulls sometimes run into an opponent, with whom it is still better not to mess. Who can resist this feathered one? Of course, only another bird. And we are not talking about hawks, but about ordinary ducks. That's who can show the seagull that she made a mistake with her opponent. A duck fights with the seagull in its element, on the surface of the water. Thanks to a special secret with which she lubricates her feathers, they do not get wet in the water. And ducks can not only swim for as long as they want, but also dive. If an eagle got into the water, its wings would just get wet and it would drown. In a battle with a seagull, the duck uses its advantage 100%. She just drowns the enemy, pushes from above, and constantly attacks with her beak, pinches, and hits. It is not always possible for a seagull to climb back onto a wing after that. Do you like stories about the triumph of justice? For example, where a robber breaks into a house, thinking that they were defenseless grandmothers, but meets someone like Dwayne the Rock Johnson inside and even armed. The camera lens caught the same story, but from the world of birds. The hawk wanted to ruin someone else's nest. He did not see who lived there, but decided that he was still in no danger as a formidable predator. Therefore, he can fly there to feast on eggs or even eat other people's chicks. In vain, he didn't know who he was messing with. One gets the feeling that he was expected there. As soon as his head appeared in the entrance, two large owls immediately pulled him inside. It turned out that this was their home, and the hawk invaded the territory or even larger in stronger birds of prey. The panic in his eyes indicates that he understood his mistake as well. The owls grabbed his paws with their own and literally disarmed him. The hawk could only spread its wings to push them away somehow. No attempts to escape helped. The owl seemed to have chained their enemy. Moreover, they did not even try to peck it or tear it with their claws. It seems that they have taken him hostage and are enjoying the horror of the hawk, who no longer hopes to get out of there alive. Surprisingly, in the end, the hawk is released, and it breaks out of someone else's nest. He will never climb in there again. And what would you do in the place of these owls? Answer in the comments. What do you know about swans? It is quite widely known that they are monogamous and faithful birds that choose one pair for their entire life. Therefore, as well as because of the elegant curve of the neck, powerful wings, and beautiful plumage, they have become a symbol of love. Well, love is cruel, just like swans. It turns out that these birds are real looters who ruin other people's nests. If there is another feathered creature next to them, an unpleasant surprise awaits him. The swan attacks for no reason and provocation, even completely harmless neighbors. With powerful blows of their wings, they are able to stun an opponent after which they drown him in the water. And if a land animal gets into the water, which is almost helpless there, then this is a real gift for a cruel swan. The dogs did not know who they were messing with and did not immediately realize that their only chance to escape was flight. Away from the water, a swan can also give you some surprises. For example, for no reason just attacking a dog. The swan has no bloodthirsty motives, he's not trying to eat the dog, just beat him up. And the only reason is that the bird just didn't like the dog. 
In general, the devotion of swans goes beyond all bounds. This family was crossing the roads when the chicks suddenly stopped. That's it, it's their road now. And multi-ton cars will have to wait or go around these impudent birds. Otherwise, the enraged father will attack them too. It seems that the policeman does not protect birds from people, but on the contrary, keeps drivers away from swans to avoid a fight. Just look at how far away from the swans this cop is trying to stay. He knows what's coming for him. The swans are also fighting amongst themselves, and very brutally. This swan attacked the black cousin, perhaps for the sake of the territory, or maybe just a bad mood. And even the retreat of the enemy did not force the aggressor to stop. He chased another swan, pinched it, and then grabbed it by the throat and tried to drown it. Fortunately, the black swan broke free and managed to escape. But he will definitely leave this pond for a long time. And the ducks who watched the battle also clearly don't want to go back there. Usually elephants behave calmly and move slowly across the savanna in search of food. These predators decided that this behavior is a sign of weakness. Huge mistake. The elephant shows that he is alone is like a whole army. Now we are going to show you other amazing cases when animals have shown that it is better not to mess with them. Elephants behave especially brutally in order to protect loved ones. Yes, they have very developed family ties. Therefore, when a whole pride of lions, despite the numerical advantage, bravery, and strength, attacked the baby elephant, it was a big mistake. They messed with the wrong elephant. The female went on the attack and literally scattered a whole group of lions. They fought desperately to save the cub and managed to recapture it from the enemies. But if you think this is the end of the story, that is where you're wrong. It turns out that elephants' amazing memory can be a problem. The female remembered the stress of the experience. And when the lions were quietly eating their lunch, she attacked them first. It's hard to say whether it was purposeful revenge or the elephant just wanted to drive the pride from her pasture. But in any case, she achieved her goal. The lions had to run in different directions, just not to get hit by this live, battering ram weighing several tons. So to run over an elephant means not only to get a serious beating right on the spot, but also to obtain a dangerous enemy. These lions definitely regretted that they once got involved with this elephant. The tiger is used to dangerous challenges. He often hunts buffaloes, which are three times heavier than him. But here the striped predator clearly did not calculate the strength when he attacked the elephant. Although the Indian species of these huge animals is slightly smaller than the African, they are still the largest land animals on the planet. The tiger's attack made no impression on the elephant. He does not even think of running away or going on the defensive. What for? With a mass of more than three tons, an elephant is 12 times heavier than the tiger. Therefore, the herbivore immediately turns 180 degrees and with lightning speed goes on the attack as soon as it notices the enemy. The tiger is shocked by such a meeting. He has to run away. The wild boar is a relative of the domestic pig. But in a fight between them, we know who you're betting on. Of course, the boar, with its powerful fangs, almost impenetrable skin, and ferocious temper. He can put a larger horse to flight and withstand a shot from a gun almost at point-blank range. However, that would be a mistake. Here, the boar decided to take out his evil temper on the pig but did not take into account that there is a very thick layer of adipose tissue under its smooth skin. It acts as no less effective protection than a hard hide and does not miss a single blow. It seems that a pink pig with floppy ears and short legs is defenseless against the rage of a boar. But all the blows of a wild beast slip off the skin of a pig. 
And then the pig goes into a counterattack and makes the wild boar run. Mass advantage is a great argument for winning. You don't expect such a fury from a domestic pig, do you? The boar doesn't either, and he paid for it. Each of these dogs is larger than a monitor lizard and is better armed with fangs and claws. There are four dogs. It seems that the fate of the reptile is predetermined, but the dogs contacted the wrong opponent. The monitor lizard takes off from its place, literally like a miniature projectile. He does not allow himself to be completely surrounded and is the first to rush into the attack. He chose one of the dogs and pounces on it with incredible malice. It is difficult to make out something behind the cloud of dust that two animals raised during the battle. But it turned out that the monitor lizard survived, and his brave maneuver allowed him to knock down the attacking rush of the dogs and escape from their surroundings. Usually, the zebra's only chance to survive an attack by a large predator is escape. But these striped ungulates clearly went to self-defense courses. Just look at how cool they defended themselves. There is everything here. A back kick, a throw over the shoulder, and suppression of the opponent on the ground. Martial arts experts, how do you like these techniques performed by the zebra? Share your opinion in the comments. A crocodile can drag a wildebeest, which weighs like a small motorcycle, under the water. What is some kind of makaki for this reptile? A pack of chips? <laughs> not even. The crocodile made a mistake in choosing an opponent. He did not know that these primates have really indomitable courage and at the same time try to take care of each other to the last moment. The crocodile grabbed one monkey. However, not only the pack did not run away, but attacked the reptile to repel a relative. A hail of hits fell on the crocodile. Maybe two or three macaques couldn't hurt him, but there were too many of them. The crocodile had to let go of the prey. Such dedication and loyalty to the family deserves your like, doesn't it? This leopard cub was completely defenseless against an adult cruel hyena. The kid was waiting for his mother to return from hunting and could only hope that the enemy would not notice him in the thicket. Unfortunately, the disguise did not help. The hyena noticed the prey and rushed to the baby. Only she underestimated this kitten. Of course, he couldn't fight the hyena, but he could run away. Although leopards are not known for endurance, if their life is at stake, they will run for as long as necessary. At the very last moment, when the hyena's jaws almost close on the leopard's paws, the kitten managed to jump up a tree and escape. The people who were watching this scene couldn't help but applaud. And how would you behave in their place? Would you root for a hyena or vice versa? Would you try to save the kitten? Let me know in the comments. We are very interested in your opinion. Compared to a domestic cat, a tiger is a real titan. A cat could fit entirely in the mouth of its distant relative. It seems that the striped cat understands this and looks at the cat with disdain. In vain, the cat immediately reminds the giant which of them is in the cage. Most likely, this is another red cat, but he behaves no less cool. Instead of escaping, he takes a defensive stance to be able to fight with all four limbs. And this, despite the fact that his opponents are a pair of tigers. And this time, the cat is not protected by the bars of the cage. The tiger makes a tentative light strike. Of course, he could crush the cat, but he acts carefully. Why hurry? And when the tiger meets just a furious rebuff, the striped cat retreats and the kid celebrates his victory. If he decided to lie here, then no giants would drive him away. It seems that he comes to the edge of the enclosure with a mute question in his eyes. Did you see that? Get this scumbag out of here. Cats are generally fine with assessing their own fighting qualities. 
they are often underestimated because of their relatively small size. But the camera lens gets phenomenal cases when cats showed who was the coolest fighter here. Of course, they don't have any special protection. They are small and vulnerable to the jaws and claws of a larger enemy. But the cat still needs to be caught. These animals are incredibly quirky and cunning. They can often lower the vigilance of a possible opponent to deliver an unexpected and insidious blow. And the clawed paws of a cat causes a lot of pain, even if they are not able to break large vessels in animals several times larger. And cats also know the weaknesses of their opponents and often aim at the eyes and other vulnerable points. In general, do not anger the seals, do not make this mistake. Gibbons with their cute faces, vegetarian diet, and long, thin arms seem so cute. But it turns out to be a territorial animal that is trying to drive away any potentially dangerous creature from its land. Even if we are talking about an adult tiger, and it looks pretty impressive. Gibbons can't really threaten tigers, but primates can annoy, pull, irritate. It goes down, beats the tiger, and immediately returns back to the thin branches for where it was. At the same time, the monkey seriously risks himself because the reaction of the striped predator is lightning fast. But the tiger made a mistake in choosing a resting place. The gibbon is too agile. They touch the tiger, and immediately soared up on the thin branches where a heavy cat could neither jump nor climb. At the same time, the scene looks as funny as it is cool. Chasing away a tiger with light slaps is an enviable skill. It seems that the gibbon is playing with the tiger, and the predator is against it and wants to rest in peace. So he leaves when he realizes that he will not be left alone here. But most likely the reason for this behavior of the primate is precisely his desire to force a dangerous predator to leave. However, it looks nice, especially because no one was really hurt. This lion did not try to attack the lioness. It apparently decided to play a joke on it and crept up to the sleeping female to make a gentle bite. But it didn't appreciate the humor. An angry female who has been prevented from sleeping is an opponent who should not be underestimated. Poor lion. Let his fate be a lesson for all of us. Probably, kangaroos seem cute to us because they are at the same time very different from us, and at the same time, thanks to the habit of standing straight and grabbing objects with their front paws hands, they are somewhat similar to us. Here too, although a dog is a friend of a person, you involuntarily begin to worry about the kangaroo. After all, the duck has already driven him into the water. So what will happen to the boar marsupial? It turns out that there is nothing wrong. He is not as defenseless as it may seem at first glance. It seems that going into the water is a part of his insidious plan. With one sharp movement, the kangaroo grabs the dog and begins to drown him. It seems as if an ordinary hunting scene has turned into a thriller. The kangaroo lifts its head away from the water, but its grip does not weaken, so the animal really resembles some kind of negative character who revealed his true nature at the very last moment. The dog, however, manages to escape, but it isn't likely that he will hunt kangaroos now. Probably this cobra was expecting an easy hunt when it got into the yard to people. Well, there are no mongooses nearby, nor is there a man with a gun. This means that both the chickens and their mother hen will become easy prey. Perhaps the snake thought so too, but he was wrong. The chicken decided that this yard needed a new hero. Some of them don't wear capes. They cackle and fuss, but at the right moment, they are the first to attack a dangerous enemy. It was this feat that was accomplished by the simplest chicken, which did not even try to take its offspring away from the yard. Instead, the self-confident bird calmly approaches the cobra, which could have stopped the heart of an adult elephant with just one bite. 
The snake is already shocked by this impudence. But this is just the beginning. Now the chicken will give such a beating to the reptile that the cobra will forever forget the way to this yard. Let the bird cannot resist the snake's venom, it still needs to be bitten. The chicken acts unexpectedly nimbly and leaves the cobra no chance to inflict a dangerous bite. Lions and tigers are different species, but they belong to the same family, the panthers. And although the structure of the skull and skeleton are almost the same, tigers are much larger, by about 10 to 15 percent. It's like the difference between boxers in different weight categories. Only when these tigers decided that the territory of the enclosure belonged to them completely, they were in for an unpleasant surprise. There is one lion and two tigers, but the mighty king of beasts does not care about it. Striped predators can be incredibly strong, but fighting skills and courage turned out to be the lion's trump cards. However, in the wild, the same lions and tigers cannot create married couples. Once their habitat coincided over a fairly large area in India, now there is only one reserve where they can theoretically meet each other. This is the Girski Forest. There will be no particularly tender feelings between them due to the differences in lifestyle and competition for food. But since tigers prefer dense thickets and lions like plains, they have to fight in exceptional cases. Therefore, it is usually those predators that are kept in captivity that will sort out the relationship. Here, big cats do not compete for food and share a rather cramped space. Tigers have a huge impact force and are able to break a horse's spine. Although the mane gives the lions a more impressive appearance, if we compare only muscle mass, they are inferior to tigers by much. But still the striped predator is forced to give up and retreat. He really shouldn't have attacked that lion. It was a big mistake to mess with such an incredible opponent. What is the secret of the victory of the King of Beasts? In combat skills, the lion strikes more accurately. His mane plays the role of natural armor. In addition, this lion is more stable. The tiger tries to dominate, rises on its hind legs, and attacks from above. It would have made another opponent run away in a panic, but the lion is too brave. And the fact that he retains at least three points of support and hits with one paw more than often than the other two, this allows him to throw opponents off balance during the offensive and force them to retreat and fall. And who are you rooting for in this fight? Answer in the comments. Mountain eagles are incredibly cool predators that are able to lift a mountain goat several times heavier than themselves, then drop their prey from a mountain ledge. And only then, enjoy lunch. But something has gone wrong here. This ungulate turned out to be too cool of prey, and the eagle is very clearly surprised. He did not expect such a rebuff. Yes, the goat falls, but the bird also falls with it. Their fight at a great height is exciting. A little more, and you might start to feel dizzy. Opponents fall again and again, but the goat does not lose its balance. Now he uses gravity as his ally. The ungulate with acceleration falls directly on the eagle, pinning it to the rock. I think something cracked, but we must give this bird its due. It is not let go of its grip and tries to continue the fight. Another mistake. The goat understands that the victim did not have enough cuffs, so he still throws off the predator and then runs away, and even tramples into the bargain. At the same time, the goat was gladly supported by a relative who also walked on the bird with sharp hooves. Today, the eagle will be left without lunch. Hippos are said to be the most dangerous animals in Africa. Although they seem pretty cute with their big noses, they are actually incredibly vicious critters. This is one of the few territorial herbivore species that fiercely defends their land, like some kind of saber-toothed tiger. 
a very thick layer of adipose tissue under a strong, smooth, and firm skin plays the role of an almost insurmountable armor. The fangs and claws of many predators just slip off of it. At the same time, the hippopotamus competes with the rhinoceros for the title of the second largest, strongest, and most massive land mammal on the planet after the elephant. To this set of advantages, you need to add huge fangs each as long as a pirate saber. With them, a hippopotamus can crush bones. In general, as you understand, these animals are doing well with self-confidence. Hippos just are not afraid of anyone. They dictate the conditions on their own territory. Hippos can attack a predator simply because it annoys them. This giant is absolutely not afraid of fighting and seems to be only happy about the opportunity to show his character. But at the same time, the hippopotamus fights very cruelly. He goes to ram, tries to trample, but first of all, it bites, crushes with its jaws, and pierces with its fangs. There are a lot of cases of attacks even on motorboats. The hippopotamus easily destroys the wooden hull of a small vessel, and he can also unexpectedly attack a herbivore, which certainly does not threaten him in any way. In general, this bully behaves like a real scumbag. As you understand, such self-confidence could not end well for him. Usually, a hippo is not afraid of lions and does not try to escape. Instead, the giant goes on the attack himself. Well, we must admit, the beginning of the fight really took place according to the rules of the hippopotamus. Just look at the monstrous force with which he squeezed the lioness's head in his jaws. It seems like he could swallow her completely. But the strength of the lions is not really in the huge power of the blow or the jaws. By the way, their bite force is not so great. The jaguar bites better. No, the strength of the lions is in the pride. These lionesses can't handle a hippo? Well, seven predatory cats will take up the case then. Seven can't finish the job either? No problem, a male comes to their aid. There is a stereotype that male lions do not hunt. That's not the case. They simply do not sit in ambush, as their mane immediately betrays a predator in any environment. But if the lionesses have surrounded too strong a prey, the male will definitely come to the rescue. Joint efforts have turned a giant ferocious hippopotamus from a horror movie for all the surrounding swamps into a hearty breakfast for the entire pride. Sometimes it happens that animal encounters with an unexpected ending do not look cruel at all, but rather cute. In general, otters should not be underestimated. They are pretty cool guys, especially if they attack in a pack. But this orangutan should not have been underestimated. At first, he retreats. The peaceful monkey does not want to fight. But when he realizes that the otters are not calming down, this primate picks up a stick. Orangutans not only belong to one of the most intelligent primates that can use tools, but also have strength. Get away from me, you impudence! The monkey doesn't seem particularly angry. Rather, she is annoyed by the audacity of the otters. In general, an orangutan is such a cute, retired special forces soldier. Yeah, he has already grown a small belly, looks lazy, and is always polite to his neighbors. But if you make him angry, he will immediately remember the past and break the legs of someone who allows himself too much. Like this. At first, the orangutan treats the monkey's pranks with patience and understanding. But when she abuses these advantages, the larger beast remembers that it can literally swatch the insolent. But still, this story is much more touching and amazing. These loggers are destroying an ancient rainforest. Maybe for the sake of increasing the area or the territory for crops. Maybe for the sake of mining. It doesn't matter. But what really matters is the feelings of the inhabitants of the ancient thicket. Yes, these animals have feelings too. 
Like the hero of a blockbuster on an environmental theme, the most ordinary lone orangutan stands against a huge bulldozer. The colossal size, relative to the primate, of a car with a metal bucket and a noisy engine should have caused an orangutan to have a real panic attack and drive him away from here. But this monkey is too smart for that. She shows everyone, you messed with the wrong lady. This resident of the jungle is not so easy to intimidate, and the orangutan goes out to fight against the bulldozer. Without hope or possibility of victory, just because that's her position. Yes, my friend, this red monkey has a public position formulated more clearly than most of those you see in your own hometown. But if you have experience fighting for wildlife conservation and ego activism, then share it into the comments below this video. We would really love to hear your story. At the same time, the orangutan got as close as possible to the bucket to fight with him, like a knight with a terrible dragon. Although the primate cannot destroy metal, its very presence on this branch does not allow the builders to move on. Therefore, in a sense, the animal won. Well, or at least something that made you think about what is happening in the distant forests and jungles. The courage of this monkey motivates and inspires to join this fight, does it not? No, we are not calling to attack construction equipment. But you must admit, wildlife deserves to take care of it and protect its mysteries and unexplored corners from destruction. It seems that even the builders who worked in this place also felt the grief of the orangutan for the destroyed thicket, which was his home. It remains to be hoped that this brave animal is now alive, healthy, and has found a new home. At least, neither the bulldozer driver nor the other people did any harm to the primate. Interestingly enough, when an orangutan went out to fight against the bulldozer, he thought that he was facing a huge monster that was uprooting his forest. Or did the animal understand the role of man in this terrible destruction of the jungle and was just trying to show the bipeds that they would not be able to destroy everything here just like that? We can only guess. What do you think? When the mayor realized that the stallion did not understand and did not accept a rejection, she decided on a more explicit way to show that she did not like him. Namely, with the help of a knockout blow directly to the head. The stallion simply turned off from the impact of powerful hooves on the skull. Well, now perhaps he will behave more like a gentleman with women. The relationship between badgers and foxes is an example of an amazing interspecies friendship. Usually, but not this time. Two animals entered the territory of human habitation with the explicit purpose of finding something tasty. Well, the badger clearly understands, he's not as cute as the fox, and there are not enough treats for everyone. So, we'll have to show the redhead that we'll have to leave. Of course, it turned out to be brutal, but in fact, the fox simply underestimated the power of the badger. Their grip will surprise many. Remember in the film Guardians, there was a cool moment. The prisoners approached the arrested superhero to settle old scores. It all ended with an epic phrase. It wasn't me who was locked up with you, and it's you who are locked up with me. It wasn't me who was locked up with you. And it's you who locked up with me! Well, these hyena-like dogs made the same mistake as the bandits in the movie. They underestimated the enemy and decided that he was trapped. In fact, the gazelle that you see now is one of the few artiodactyls that are distinguished by a very determined character and a love of fighting. Perhaps these dogs thought that the gazelle had gone to the depths because of panic trying to escape. In fact, the ungulate lured predators to a place where they would have neither the opportunity to surround nor the advantage of a flat surface. And when the horned creature realized that the dog was carried away and believed in his victory, he turned into a crushing counterattack. 
the gazelle literally trampled the predator and almost drowned him. An object lesson for fellow humans who understood the essence of the situation in time and did not dare to pursue a higher animal at depth. The behavior of this gang of macaques does not cause any involvement. They really fancy themselves too strong and invulnerable to smaller otters. It seems that primates treat otters like toys. They shake the kids from side to side, sometimes even bang their heads on the rocks. Why would an animal that doesn't try to hunt do that? Out of curiosity or because of a violent nature? To be honest, it is extremely difficult to perceive all kinds of animals, equally objectively and with equal sympathy. And it's not because some animals seem more beautiful. It's just that the habits of certain species are really associated with meanness and cruelty. Whereas surprisingly other animals behave nobly, at least by our human standards. Or do you think that it is unacceptable and irrational to evaluate the behavior of animals from the point of view of human views on ethics? Or vice versa, do you believe that animals can also be guided by good intentions, which means that there are also villains among them? Answer in the comments. Maybe you are equally more for hyenas and lions. If you are outraged by the behavior of these vile macaques, then now you will see that they underestimated their enemy. Maybe one otter is weaker than a primate, but altogether they represent a formidable force. Otters caught a macaque and threw it into the water, and then surrounded from all sides. From the sides, from below, from above, their sharp teeth were constantly wounded, bitten, looking for a gap in the defense. The macaque tries to fight back, but the otters in the water are too strong. It is much more convenient for them to act there. And the otters fight too harmoniously to be resisted. Although the macaque is trying to fight off a relative, he has no chance. The otters have dealt with the enemy and have shown that contacting them is the biggest mistake a monkey can make. Do you see a shark? Ah, oh, there she is. An invisible predator that plows the waters of the ocean like her ancestors millions of years before. Are you scared? She knows you're scared. But this sea lion is not the enemy on whose fear you can count. This mammal is not just not afraid of the shark, it attacks first and literally bites the huge fish, throwing it out of the water. For a sea lion, this shark, with all its size and powerful jaws, is just a hearty lunch. When a bully does not get rebuffed for a long time, he may believe in his own strength too much. This dog really thinks he can scare a bull weighing almost a ton. This ungulate endured the stupidity of the opponent for a while, but then decided to teach it a lesson. And it did it in the most convincing way. With a kick that threw the dogs away and slammed it into the door jam. Now the little impudent dog will think several times on whom it is possible and on whom it is not possible to bark and rush. Archimedes said, Give me a fulcrum and I will move the earth. It is not known whether the bull of the work studied the biography of an ancient physicist, but the concept of Archimedes was embodied 100% here. During the enemy's attack, the bull went into defense, found a foothold, and took a crushing blow from the enemy with such fortitude that the bull literally did a somersault in the air and landed on his back. He himself is shocked by the acrobatic trick that he has just performed. But it must be admitted, he does not take stubbornness. The bull jumped up and continued the duel. Apparently, they didn't share something important. You know about the reputation of honey badgers, right? So these hyenas were clearly unaware and underestimated this kid. Of course, even against one hyena, the honey badger is like a gnome against a troll. And here hyenas are generally three against one. 
but neither the size of the enemy nor the numerical superiority does not bother our furious hero at all. He goes into battle and shows the hyenas where they belong. In a pile of garbage. Although the jaws of spotted predators can shatter bones, the honey badger not only has a strong hide, but also reacts to attacks with the speed of a bullet. As soon as the hyena tries to grab him, the honey badger immediately turns to her for a counterattack. The hyenas thought they had surrounded the enemy, but for the honey badger, this is not a problem. He easily spins around his axis and distributes such heavy blows that the hyenas can only run away from this little ball of rage. In addition to the fact that the skin of the honey badger is very durable, it also easily departs from the muscle tissue. Therefore, even if the hyena's teeth dig into the skin, it does not lead to any serious internal damage. The honey badger is just getting a little bit angrier, and he uses not only jaws with needle-sharp teeth, but also his paws. With his claws, it seems he could dig a tunnel connecting New York with Los Angeles. And the hyena's skin, moreover, will not withstand too close of an acquaintance with these claws. The giraffe is the tallest animal on the planet. An adult can easily look into the window of a third floor story building standing near it. These ungulates became so tall in order to have access to the crown of savanna trees, which have juicy foliage only up at the highest altitude. But giraffes paid for such a growth with dexterity. They can run well, but a lion can easily catch up with a giraffe, especially if it is attacked from an ambush. That's exactly what happened here. Lioness has surrounded the giraffe and one of the cats has already jumped on the back of his neck. An incredibly tense situation. It seems that the poor ungulate will not last even a few minutes under such a frenzied pressure. Several lionesses hold the giraffe by the hind legs. Do not allow you to drop the burden while the bravest predator gets to the throat. An example of almost perfect teamwork. But the giraffe doesn't seem to care. He saves his strength and doesn't even seem to be trying to escape. The lionesses made a mistake with the victim. After some time, the cat, which was trying to get to the throat of the prey, just fell to the ground. The target was too high. And then the giraffe dispersed the opponents with powerful hooves. He may not be the most agile animal in the savanna, but one hoof strike is enough to crack a lion's skull. So the cats can only swallow the dust and go home disappointed in search of easier prey. And they were lucky enough to stay whole themselves after such an exhausting battle. Picture this, you are a solid and powerful lion who hunts bulls and protects his pride from a whole pack of hyenas. And then, as if out of nowhere, the most ordinary dog appears and chases you off like a yard cat. An offensive situation? Of course. No wonder the lions are trying to fight back and even deliver crushing blows. But the dog has caught the adrenaline rush and does not back down. Interestingly, the cases when a dog alone attacks a lion, or even a couple of lions, are not so rare. Big cats should not underestimate these toothy babies and calmly tolerate their approach. Even one dog can be a serious opponent. However, who knows? Maybe the lion is just afraid of catching something from such an opponent? He's obviously behaving like a madman. However, there is another version of why lions often retreat. The fact is that dogs know their opponent well. Therefore, they attack a vulnerable, that is a sensitive area, the nose. Yes, a lion or a lioness can deal with an annoying dog in less than a minute. But at the same time, they will definitely get a few sensitive bites. And why do they need it? It's better to retreat. Let's clarify one moment. This is not an adult strong kangaroo deciding to teach a teenager a lesson. These are representatives of two different species. The one that is larger is a real red kangaroo a powerful beast whose mass is approaching the weight of an adult. 
And this gray animal of more miniature dimensions is a wallaby. It is more than four times lighter and about half the size of a kangaroo. Although, of course, they are quite close relatives, as it is easy to understand due to the external similarity. At the same time, the kangaroo thinks that if it is bigger, then the wallaby will have to leave. But the gray kid doesn't agree. And he is ready to demonstrate this disagreement in a fight. This fighter will give a lot of surprises to the kangaroo. The brazen marsupial underestimated its enemy and received a decisive rebuff. When a creature that is literally 200 times heavier than you approaches you, you involuntarily tense up. Especially if there are several giants behind him. But this feathered fellow does not follow such obvious logic. This bird is not afraid. She scares the others. One sharp movement, and the cows are almost in a panic. It's amazing how much they underestimated this little opponent. Wolves are considered one of the most successful predators on the planet for a reason. Even now, when cities have grown and forests have shrunk, they remain numerous and successful. Including thanks to a combination of intelligence and desperate courage. Here, several wolves become so bold that they enter the territory of a city in search of food. But the proud animals did not look for food in landfills they found an adult Kengal. This is a special breed of dog, one of the strongest, bravest, and coolest in the world. One-on-one, -on -one, Kengal may well, if he does not crack down, then at least stand up against a wolf. But there are several wild animals here, and they understand that in front of them is an enemy who may be hunting them. Therefore, the smart wolves decided to eliminate him. The Kangal desperately fights back. The scene of this fight is incredibly tense. Powerful jaws and long fangs make the wolves cautious. The dog is also smart. He presses his back against the wall, finds a corridor in which to hide. This is not fear or panic. It's just that the Kangal protects himself from the rear from encirclement. If at least one wolf could attack him from behind, the others would grab him by the paws, stretch the dog, and easily finish him off. And so they have to slowly push him and look for cracks in the defense. If the Kengal loses concentration even for a moment and succumbs to fear, the enemy's fangs will immediately go into his throat. It seems that the situation is hopeless and everything will be resolved in a few minutes. Wolves are slow for only one reason. If the Kengal manages to injure at least one of them, the pack will become less effective at hunting. Therefore, wild predators try to minimize the risks. But the excitement will prevail sooner or later. The Kangal is more massive than some wolves, but loses to this gang. If you think that this was followed by a scene of brutal violence, then you're mistaken. The wolves underestimated the Kangal. He didn't just protect his back, he was stalling. Other dogs came running to the sound of barking. There are very few breeds in the world that will dare to fight wolves without a numerical advantage of at least one to three. The Kengals are just an exception. They are so brave and loyal to each other that they agree to an equal battle, three on three. The alignment changed when the reinforcements literally broke into the fight and attacked the wolves from the flank. Of course, the predators did not run without looking back. They also fought back and did not allow themselves to be seriously injured. But in this fight, they definitely lost. Now they need to flee the city, and all the Kingals survived. And in case of injury, they have a host who will take care of them and cure them. For a seal, a killer whale is a real monster from the depths. With a huge difference in size and strength, the chances in battle are zero. But the seal still has one advantage. Millions of years ago, the ancestors of killer whales completely went into the ocean and lost the opportunity to return to land. But pinnipeds do not. The seal feels this, so it escapes from the black and white hunters on the ice floe. That's it, he's saved. Or is he?
Unfortunately, at least through the seal, the pinniped underestimated its pursuers. Killer whales are incredibly intelligent and seem to be well-versed in physics. And thanks to echolocation, they not only know exactly where their prey is on the ice flow, but also how strong the barrier is in front of them. Thanks to the coordinated actions of killer whales, they send a wave to the ice flow and literally wash the victim back into the water. Jaws is already finishing the job here. Which case of unexpected denouement of animal battles struck you more than others? Reply in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to see impressive animal videos more often.